Hi guys, how are you doing? Today is a quick tutorial on how to reduce bloating and swelling on your face. And essentially, um, right now it is still summer season in Canada, so there's a lot of barbecue happening. And you know barbecues, right? The next day, all that sodium is stuck to your face, and it gets all like chubby and swollen and and all puffy. So to reduce that, I have three things I'll share today to help you guys. And let's get started. So after finishing the clips of my hair, I brewed some green tea already and I chilled it and then I put it in the freezer. So it should be okay to open it now. I would use a baby fork as well, preferably not metal but plastic baby fork because they have more control on putting over your face. But you can use a toothpick too, that's all I could find today and I was in a rush doing this. So yeah, all you need is a toothpick for now. And what you do is that you just take this toothpick out and just go under your eyes go in a circular motion. So green tea is a great anti-inflammatory to reduce swelling and redness and bloating for the face. It's very calming and soothing, but as a side note, don't use don't use the ice method too much because, well, your skin is an organ and you want to treat it with care as well. And putting too much ice on it can actually dry the skin out and cause cracks. And you know this may be kind of like freezer burn, where you know you can have lots of cracks in your face, and that can cause a lot of acne. Maybe sometimes bacteria that can grow in there because you have cracks because you have cracks in your skin. So use ice sparingly, I would say, but at the same time, um, it's a great way to reduce redness, bloating, and swelling. So yeah, I'm gonna wash this off really quickly and then come back to the next one. So I don't think a lot of people on YouTube have covered this out, but you guys know that you guys can put moisturizers and creams in the refrigerator. And I know that seems crazy, but it does work. Out of your moisturizers and eye creams really help in benefiting towards reducing swelling and bloating on the face. I remember I was asking one of my coworkers who had Poreless skin. Now I'm not sure if poreless is a word. Poreless, but her skin was completely like clean. There was no pores on her face, and her secret was was because she put a lot of her moisturizers and eye creams in the refrigerator. Because she told me that after a hot shower, her pores were open. That she would quickly go downstairs, grab her grab her creams and eye creams, and put it on her face. So pretty simple. Um. Also, the last step would be drinking a glass of water. And, uh, you know, it's really easy, cheap to do, you know. An hour and 30 minutes before you go to sleep, I would try to drink at least 500 milliliters or maybe a liter of water and essentially go to the washroom before you go to bed. And when you go to bed, overnight, the water will flush away the sodium from your face and go down there. And when you go to the washroom the next morning, you can check the mirror out and see that your face is a lot more slimmer because the water overnight has flushed away the sodium. So these are quick guides to show you guys how to reduce some bloating and swelling on your face and they're pretty simple and easy and I hope you guys enjoy them. Good luck if you guys try it and yeah, so I will see you guys soon. Bye! Ah.